Throughout my time in college, I've had five different roommates. Yes, five. And each one was different than the other one. No roommate was ever alike. I thought it would be fun to match my five different roommates to five different Disney characters and, you know, have fun with that. Let's just jump right on in and in no particular order, we will start off with my roommate, Alice. Like Alice in Wonderland, Alice uh, was a lovely and quite reserved roommate of mine. Many times I felt like I was her Mad Hatter. I'm a little bit quirky compared to her, or just in general, I'm really quirky. Although she was very reserved, she was a pretty curious girl and always asking questions, and it was a lot of fun to be her roommate. Next is Gaston. <laughs> That sounds really bad. This is kind of like her personality that I associate with her. And so I'm talking about Gaston, how he was in the beginning of Beauty and the Beast when, you know, he all he cares about is himself, his looks, and marrying Belle. She just kind of has that sort of feeling of Gaston. My roommate, as in the movie, is a very intelligent person, but she is very apathetic and, oh, Oh, a little conceited. You may try to talk to her, but she'll ignore your opinions and just interject with what's going on in her life all the time, her bringing her issues to the topic of conversation rather than listening to what you might have to say. Finally, Gaston may or may not be purposely rude to you on more than one or 60 occasions. That's just how she rolls. That's just how she is. Third on this list is Rapunzel. Like the Rapunzel in the movie Tangled, my roommate Rapunzel is a very extroverted and lighthearted and fun girl. Rapunzel has lived through certain experiences through her life that might have resulted in her, you know, feeling anxiety or guilt now and then, but she has just an optimistic and positive outlook on life. Rapunzel, she's one to really love her friends and value uh, her relationship with them, and she's so easy to get along with. I mean, like, she and I were two peas in a pod. Now this one is a little weird because I couldn't really pinpoint a famous Disney character to match the personality of my next roommate, but I think this kind of suffices because this was the most um, memorable factor that I remember her being. My fourth roommate was the villager. I, I'm talking about the villager or villagers um, from Beauty and the Beast who sing, you know, Belle in the beginning of the film. Now, like the villagers in Beauty and the Beast, my roommate, the villager, was, you know, very well intentioned in all of her mannerisms and what she would say, but she was always unconsciously judging me. I really don't feel like she understands that she is judging people with everything she says. I always felt like I had to fit into her life or what she thought might be like proper way of living, like proper beliefs, proper lifestyle. Being weird just because you're not the same as someone else. So to her, I guess I really was a funny girl. Not funny as in haha, -ha, even though we did share some laughs, you know. And finally, my sweet and lovable and adorable roommate, Winnie the Pooh. My roommate, Winnie, I'm just gonna call her Pooh Bear because I think that's cute. She was a wonderful roommate. She was cute and cuddly and extremely likable. Pooh Bear had such a thoughtful demeanor and she was always willing to be kind and friendly to anyone she met. Even if it was the first day, she was as sweet as she could be. She's very, very loyal to her friends and of course she would always be the first one to wish everyone a happy Wednesday. At one time or another, you're going to have to live with roommates that you may or may not know beforehand. Out of the five roommates that I've roomed with these past uh, couple of years, I only knew two of them before I started rooming with them. 
And so the other three were just randomly assigned roommates that I had no idea who the people were. Let's remember that all roommates are different. Some are going to be great, some are going to be, you know, a little different than you are, and other ones are just going to be completely unique. Even with good roommates or with bad roommates, there's still times where you're going to laugh with them and sometimes you're just going to get annoyed with them. Your personalities might clash, but that doesn't mean the person is a bad person. It just means they have a different way of living and you just got to learn to, you know, go with the flow. It didn't automatically come to me which Disney characters would actually match with my roommate's personality. And I mean, I picked them as close as I could, but that doesn't encompass all that they are as a person. So just, you know, it's for fun. Don't put these roles on them like, must be like this, or I don't want to live with you. Because, I mean, you might have a choice of who you get to live with, and sometimes it's just not gonna work out. So you never know, roommates are always it's a situational thing. And yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, I really made me think uh, hard about like personalities and who like could actually be a Disney character. So I'm kind of curious on like what Disney character I would be or like my roommates would see me as. Or, oh, is that a good idea? I don't know if I <laughs> Remember guys to please like and subscribe if you want to see more Disney related content and I will see you guys soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful day everybody, okay? Bye!